I'm interested in determining the derivative of this function, square root of 5 minus 2x squared. But before we do that, let's examine the basis behind it. If I were to make x value here 0, I can solve for y value will be a root 5, and this here is a y-intercept. If I were to make y 0 and solve for x, I'll algebraically solve for the x. I'll have a plus and minus square root of 5 over 2. These are your x-intercepts. And we graph them out. This is what we have. 0, comma root 5. Root 5 is larger than 2, but less than 3. We'll put a point here root 5 over 2, which is the 5 over 2 in a square root, is larger than 1, less than 2. Positive and minus, we'll put them right here. My graph looks something like this. It could be a little exaggerated, but this is giving us a rough idea of the graph. The purpose of doing a derivative is to determine the slope of a tangent line at any point on this curve, so long as that value is in the domain of this. I have a particular point here, and I draw a tangent line over here. What is the slope of this tangent line? The derivative will give it to me. If I do the derivative of this function, I'll give a value which is also a function. That will be a derivative function or derivative factor. Let's determine the derivative of this. You have a polynomial in the square root. Think about chain rule. If u is equal to 5 minus 2x squared, I have a function with regards to that u, which is root u, your chain rule. Derivative with respect to your u variable, I'll do the derivative of root u. Then I'll do the derivative of the x variable, which is 5 minus 2x squared. I haven't done the derivative, but I've laid out the foundation for the chain rule. What's the derivative over here? It's a 1 over 2 root u from your derivative templates. What's your derivative here? It'll be a minus 4x. Combine these in a product. I'll have a minus 4x divided by 2 root u, which is a 5 minus 2x squared and a square root. Look. I have determined a function which is a derivative of my original function, but the derivative here is a function. You can simplify this with this, and you'll have an end result here. Minus 2x divided by square root of 5 minus 2x squared is my derivative of that function. Now all I need to do is determine an x value. I'm interested here in an x value of 1. I look over here, I draw a tangent line. What's the slope of this tangent line? I know at this point x is equal to 1. Put the x value here, 1. I'll have a minus 2 times 1 divided by square root of 5 minus 2 times 1 squared, which is irrelevant, I'll have a minus 2 over root 3. This will be the slope of this tangent line. When you're doing a derivative of a function, you'll arrive normally at a function. But that function will give you, based on the value of the variable involved, a actual numerical slope for the tangent line that you've drawn. This is the tangent line, and it's good. This here is a derivative function, and it's correct.